Hello, this is Steve with the Scotsman. Um, I'm actually fabricating a wheel arch on a, an XJ6 Jaguar that I'm working on. And um, I've done a little bit of sheet metal work over the last couple of years. And you know what? It's always a challenge, like knowing how to actually cut like sheet metal, like get a decent edge on it, and do it pretty, pretty reasonably cheaply. So here's my method. Um, after trying another couple of methods, uh, you know, when I first started, I thought about using an angle grinder with a cut-off wheel, putting a guard on it. And you know what? It will cut, but it's there's a lot of heat generated, um, and I wasn't really that keen on the edge. This is really just a cheap Harbor Freight angle grinder, as you can see. Um, it has like a um, 40 thou cut off disc in there, and you can see that this um, will actually cut into the uh, cut into the metal. It's worked okay, but for me, too much heat. Um, this is now my preferred method, guys. So what I I have this Bosch jigsaw. You know what? If you're going to get a jigsaw, I'm all for saving money. But get yourself something half decent. This is a GS365 jigsaw, and it's actually pretty sweet. Um, I use a, a 21 TPI um, blade on this thing, and you can see it's pretty much self-evident. I just pretty much just butt this jigsaw up against here. I've actually got the. This is 18 gauge steel, and I've actually got it wedged between hardboard. I just use this. I, I, to me, hardboard is cheaper than plywood, does the job. Um, and obviously, as I go along, especially towards the end, I just put these welding clamps on here so that when I get to the end, it's not too ragged of an edge. So, pretty much, this is, I don't know what, eighth of an inch angle. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy, you know what I mean? Um, on the edge of a bench. So, if you have the edge of a bench, a half decent jigsaw, um, you, can, you can use this method. The main reason I'm making this video, guys, is that I wish someone had put a video up here I looked at forums and all this type of thing and everybody has their ideas but you know what I've tried and tested a few things and this works for me um, I, this GN 1601 Makita nibbler that I have I actually use that for cutting out like the sheet metal roughly um, I buy the I buy the sheet in large in, a, in like a 4x6 throw it in the back of the truck it's obviously cheaper this wasn't cheap this nibbler was like a, I don't know about 300 bucks or whatever you know what would I recommend it? I don't know. I use it on occasion. It was a lot of money. Um, but it's handy. You know, I, I like using it just to get the sheet metal um, roughly. You can use tin snips, but it's, it's pretty brutal. So that's just my MO on cutting sheet metal. As I said, man, everybody has their own, own opinion. But if you're just like myself and you maybe just have to do this a couple of times a year, then this does the job. And you can see yourself. I'll just show you the edge. I mean, it's not... It's pretty pretty decent edge on there you know what I mean so all right guys this is Steve the Scotsman signing off Um hope you guys are doing okay as I said if this has helped my usual mantra if this has helped one person it's been worth it all right guys take care all the best cheers